A member expresses a desire to speak 10 minutes against a bill. What happens to a bill on a local calendar? If the member speaks for 10 minutes, it dies. It's withdrawn. If he expresses an intent to do so, what the, happens? The practice of the chair has been to confer with the, with the sponsor of the bill and see whether they desire to have a 10-minute discussion whether they desire to yield the floor and have the member speak for 10 minutes or whether they desire to simply withdraw the bill. All right. Well, Mr. Speaker, um, I intend there are several bills on here that I intend to speak 10 minutes about. I don't know if you'd like for me to do them in a group, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask all of my fellow pallbearers to come up with me. So, uh, Mr. Dutton, if you'd like, why don't you come down and we'll identify the bills that you're interested in talking 10 minutes and we'll, we'll work with the sponsors to see whether they want a 10-minute discussion or whether they want to withdraw the bills. I'm sorry, Mr. Speaker. You said we could I, all... I said if you'd like to come down front and identify the bills that you intend to speak for 10 minutes on, we could work with the sponsors of those bills and find out whether they prefer a 10-minute conversation or withdraw. And if we want to do that with every bill on the calendar. Okay. All right, Mr. Uh, Dutton, let, let's come on down front and figure out how we want to handle that very long speech you might should, be making. Should I, should I bring them with me in the trash can or should I just leave them here? I think right now, at this time, I'd give you the preference of whether you want to bring them on down or what you'd like to do. But, but let's okay. come on down and have All a conversation. Right, okay. Let me get my cheat sheet from my. Please desk. get your cheat sheet, Mr. Dutton. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Stickland. I also have a list of some that I would like. Respectfully, it sounds like your list may not matter. 